Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. So last week I showed you how to replace the blurb icon with a font awesome icon because you can't do that in Divi by default. So I showed you how to do that. This week we're kind of following in that same line of thinking and we're going to do the same thing with a Divi button module. So, you know, as you know, you can add an icon to a button. So I'm going to show you how to use a font awesome icon in the Divi button module. All right, let's take a look, get started here. And as you may know, in Divi, there is already what they call the ET modules font family. So we're, we're essentially starting out by adding or making sure that we've added already font awesome the to in order to even get those icons in your website. I'm not going to go into any of that in this tutorial simply because it would get way too long and we've already covered it. Here you can see um, I have the link to how to add you know Font Awesome to Divi. There's a couple ways you can do it. Copy their CDN or you can install a plugin. Either way, you just, you just have to get it connected kind of. Then you can move on with the tutorial. All right, so in our tutorial, I'm going to be just walking through this live on, a, on an example site here. Um, we're going to be adding a CSS class to our buttons and every single button that we would want an icon, we're going to add a CSS class. That way we don't affect every button on our whole website, right? So there's going to be two options that you're going to see here. Um, it's going to be whether you want the icon on the left or the right. And that's totally up to you. It's just, I'm giving you the option so that, you know, um, you know, if you want it on the left or right, you're going to have to choose one, right? Don't, like you'll see here, I have um, PA button icon right. This is the class that I'm using. And then I'll have PA button icon left. And you're just gonna choose one. In fact, just pick one and go with it. You're gonna be adding that to the button module. And I'll show you that right now. So here I am going to just add a button module. And I'm gonna say icon on right, okay? Um, in fact, I'll just, I'll go ahead and, and make two of them right here. All right, so we have our two buttons. Now we need to add a CSS class to them. So we go over here and we'll grab the first one, PA button icon right, go in here to the module settings, the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and then paste it there. Now we can do the exact same thing for the one on the left. We go to this advanced tab um, and you could just change the word or come back here and copy it again. And this one's left. So we're putting the icon on the left side of the button. So now the CSS classes are in there. The next step is to turn off the default button because the next step after that is going to be adding the, the font awesome icon. So we first want to get rid of the other icon, right? So we're gonna go in here, I'll show you to go to the, the settings again, design tab, um, open the button toggle here, and turn on use custom styles for button, and then turn off show button icon. Okay, and we would do that, I mean, do that for all of them, but in my example here, I'll do it for both, show button icon, great. Now the next step will be to add a new button back in, right? So now we've gotten rid of them, we have our class situated and everything. Here comes the jQuery. Now the jQuery, you can add a couple different places. You could add to your theme options in the integrations tab, I'll show you that. So in your website, you would always go to Divi, theme options, here's integration, and then you would put it in here. So you'd scroll down to whatever you have here, the bottom, put it in there. That's probably the best place to put it. For me, I'm actually going to be putting it directly in my page. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this first one, I'm putting it on the right. So I'll go in here and, and I'm going to be adding a code module like this, code, and then I'll paste it in there. And you can see here that what we're doing is targeting that same class, PA button, icon right, that's that button right there. We're, we're saying in that one, we're gonna append, we're gonna add a, a new icon, right? And the icon happens to be this here between the span tag. You'll see it says span and it says it's an I and then class 
F-A-S, F-A bacon. That's the fly awesome uh, code terminology there. And there it is. It's going to put it there. And so um, let's go ahead and do one for the for the other side, for the left, while we're while we're here. Um, in fact, if you're going to do more than one, you don't need the extra script tags. But there you go. So now I have uh, the PA button left, and it's prepending. See, it's append and prepend, basically. Think of it as um, after and before kind of thing. So it's going to have a, a bacon icon. So let's take a look at this, save our page, and, and look at it on the front end. And there you go. You can have an icon on the right and on the left that looks great, except for the position, obviously. So now I'm going to show you that step. So back in our tutorial here, I'm going to skip this step right here. This is how we find the icon. I want to get to the styling. Here we're talking about styling it. You would take your CSS snippet, one of these here, and put it in your child theme or in theme options. I am going to copy this and put it. I want to show you live right now. So I'm going to put it in my Chrome extension called user CSS. Pasted that one in. I'm going to grab the other one while I'm here. All right, paste that one in. All that's doing, it's well, it's targeting it. See the same class again. See that? Same class. And then same class for this one. And we're saying margin left or margin right. And we're adding spacing. So all we're doing was targeting that icon and adding spacing to the one side to move it so that it is situated properly. Then I have it says your styles here. And this is, you know, you could do whatever you want. Like, um, let's get rid of that. You could you could um, change the color or the font size, right? That kind of thing. Let's say color uh, red. See that? And, and you can do whatever you want there with it. You could add a border, a box shadow, a background, padding, border radius, everything that you can imagine that you wanted to do. You could go ahead and do that there. Now, right here is talking about the, the actual the actual icon code. You would want to go to the Font Awesome website, click here, and you'll see something like this on every on every icon that you're looking at there. It's going to be inside an I tag, okay? So it's going to say a class, and then it's going to say something. It, it might not be this exact thing like FAS, but it's going to be similar. And then the FA font awesome bacon is the actual one. And you can see my screenshot. So let's go here. All right, and let's say, uh, let's see, what do I want? Airbnb, for example. I click on that one. Right here, I get this, and I can see it's Fa Airbnb. So I could I could literally just memorize that that's what it is. Or click here. I'm going to show you inside the jQuery. In here, I could come in here and look for look very carefully for the span tag. After the append or prepend, it's going to say span. See that right there? The the span and then i class fas bacon you could paste that right there now my computer or else it's just in general has an issue something i don't know i need to add a single quote there instead of a double not sure why for you maybe you don't have to but check that all right so now i want to show you how you can use uh, the, the same technique multiple times on your website I'm going to show you with just the one button here. I'm going to use the right to kind of cut out some of that confusion left and right. It'll work for either one, but here we go. So if I want to have multiple buttons here, in fact, let's say I want three different buttons. I want all of them to have a different icon. Well, what would you do? Well, well, the key is to always make sure the CSS class in here is always unique to that icon, right? So PA button icon, right? And to do that, I recommend making it unique. So like on the end, we're gonna say Airbnb like that. Now I've, I've made it unique. That means in my code here, I've got to make it unique, right? So I'm gonna add it to the end here. Okay, so now this is always going to refer to this one because it's Airbnb, right? Now I, wanna, I want more buttons, right? So I'm gonna paste this Two more times like that and what icons do I want okay so I'm gonna use this one right here award 
And you can see here FAS, FA award, right? FAS, make sure you check if it's FAS or FAB, um, or just copy it. <laughs> uh, but back in here, so I'm gonna call this one, I change this one to be award, see that? You can put whatever you want in here. So since I've made that one award, I need to match it here, right? And then I actually need to change it here. Here's where I was saying, FAB, we need FAS. Gotta watch that, we're quite awesome. Okay, so the first two are done. Now we need an icon for the other one. What's a good icon? We already did the bacon. It really doesn't matter, I'm just bicycle, okay. So here's FAS bicycle. Okay, so we're gonna just go back and add that here to make this unique, right? Bicycle like that. And then go into the jQuery again. Oh, and we'll also have to do this with the CSS. Bicycle. I always put BY, bicycle. And that was an S. Okay, so we're good there. Now we just have to change the CSS, like I said. So I'm gonna exit the page. All right, so here you can see all the icons are showing, which is great. Uh, I just need to adjust the spacing, right? Or the styling, right? So right now it's the wrong class. So we're gonna just change that class to be um, Airbnb. All right, moved it over. Now to do it for the other ones, instead of, instead of copying this whole Snip it like this. You wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily want to keep doing this. Um, instead, if you're styling them the same, do that. Copy that first part, comma, comma. Need three of them, and then go back in and say, okay, so this one was award. Move that over. This one was bicycle. Move that over. There you go. Now I have three unique buttons. It was that easy. It's really, it's really not that hard. Uh, and there you go. You get all, you get access to all these great icons. So yeah, this is it. Now, um, I, I guess, let's see, did I promise showing you the hover thing? Yeah, I guess I did. I showed you that in the tutorial. I do promise showing you the hover thing. Um, so it's very difficult to make this work where like you hover over it and then the icon appears. Very difficult, or it's not difficult, it's just to get it to look smooth. The only way that I could think to do it, and maybe someone has a brilliant idea, um, the only way I could think to do it was to display none and then display block. So when you hover, then you display it. By default, it's not displayed. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here. If I paste in this code, now now my classes are all wrong. Here, I'll, I'll do a little trick. I'll just make them do the Airbnb one, right? So right here, see when I hover? It shows up fine. Everything works. It's just, it's not, it's not like an elegant, smooth transition. It, you can't. It's impossible with CSS to make a transition on a display, non, you know, display like that. So that's what I've come up with. You just you just put the class and then hover and then target the icon. So class hover, when I hover over the button, then icon displays. All right, by default, it's just not. And you can do that for all of these. I mean, it wouldn't matter. I think you get the idea by now. Whichever one you have in here, we'll do that. It's not bad, but in my opinion, if you're going to the trouble of uh, putting these beautiful icons there, let them be seen. <laughs> let them be seen. Why do the hover? Let them there by default. I like that. All right. So I hope that was not too complicated. I try to make it as simple as I can. Hopefully I've done a good job with that. And and again, this is this is unique. There's no other tutorial out there like this. And it, it's really simple when it comes down to it. We're, we're just getting rid of the regular icon and adding our own. Um, it's not anything like groundbreaking crazy, but it's super helpful, um, I think, right? It's a nice effect and 
I would really, really like to see if uh, you you guys use this. Let me know. Uh, maybe even share some links. And if you think that you've done a really great job and this really cool thing, it'd be great looking. Um, love to see it. And if you want to see more tutorials related to this, you know, I know we're doing a couple kind of similar here. Uh, if we've missed something, a different module, I guess. Um, yeah, it'd be the same kind of concept, but um, font awesome. Kind of in a font awesome mode here lately. All right, let me know. And that's it for today. We'll see you next week. We have a video every Tuesday that comes out with a Divi tutorial. So we hope that you're subscribed and that's what you'll get. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.